Uh, my guest here is an entrepreneur, Joe Farner, who's the CEO and founder of uh, Inbound... Uh, uh, Inbox Q is in, a company, Inbound Score is a new product. Though, Inbound so. Score is a new product, Inbox Q, big data meets social web, meets connecting in from the web. So uh, here, step up to the microphone a little yeah, bit absolutely. there and let's talk about, uh, um, you guys are startups, so you're seed funded sure, and you're right. out in the marketplace trying to make things happen. That's exactly right. Well, what's the big uh, aha around big data and the new marketplace that we're living in right now? You know, so uh, we've been working on our product set for about a year and a half. Um, we started uh, down a different path, more uh, real-time web crawling, crawling, and then we started focusing in on social data. What we started to isolate is around two concepts. One is the concept of public data streams, so things like Twitter and some of the public Facebook data and making sense of that. And more recently, really trying to figure out what are these more private data streams that are proprietary to within companies typically and helping folks make sense of those. So an example with, uh, with our Inbox Q product, we focus on making sense of public Twitter data. With Inbound Score, we've started to focus on looking at these proprietary streams of data that businesses have coming into their sites like Inbound Sales Leads and helping them make sense of those using some uh, public, public data as well. So obviously the social web is uh, an environment that's really hot with this real-time node.js. And, and uh, you know, one of the things we talked about earlier with the CEO of uh, Heroku and the CTO mm -hmm. of Heroku and pretty much everyone else is the new connected internet is changing everything. Absolutely. So there's a lot more lightweight data that's actually worth storing and using and it's being disruptive. What do you guys see in your area around big data meets social data? And so, it's a disruptive force. Yeah, so one of the real big things that we're seeing with our clients, particularly in the enterprise, is they're trying to figure out how to make sense of that data. So there's been this, this first, and make it actionable, this first wave of like listening apps, things that uh, allow you to understand what's going on on these channels. And now folks are starting to move their focus in around how do I take the data that I'm taking out of a place like Twitter or Facebook and tie that directly to a business objective, whether that's a product launch, direct sales, lead generation, whatever it may be. So what's your product and what's your business model? So uh, with Inbound Score, the product um, helps businesses manage their inbound leads better. So effectively what we do is we take that inbound stream of leads that's coming from your website uh, contact form, we look at the email address and the domain associated with that, that lead, and then we um, append public and private data to that, and we charge folks for uh, processing those leads in that way. Um, and where are you guys going? What's the next step for you guys? Obviously, you score more funding, right. get some beachhead out there. What are the critical product challenges you have? Yeah, so I think um, we've spent the last year and a half in product development and really trying to understand the market. Now we're moving into the phase where we're actually you know, shipping products, selling, uh, building our early customer base. The next phase is really figuring out what are the assets we need to scale up into a big, massive, successful business. And so we think that that's proving the early business model and then you know raising additional capital around that and, and starting to scale up. So how did this all get started, you guys? How did you meet your co-founders and yeah, your so, team? Uh, so it's interesting. Uh, my co-founder and I worked together at a previous startup, um, an early social startup called Popular Media that did uh, viral distribution for consumer products. Uh, it, was, it predated uh, Twitter's mass adoption it created Facebook uh, becoming open beyond yeah, education. that was the so widget craze Remember that's right that it was all it was widgets and all email based <laughs> everything was email importers right um, and so I worked uh, you know I tell people in lots of startups there's like the yeah. traditional uh, org chart and there's the shadow org chart the shadow org chart is like the people they pull together when things need to get done and increasingly it was me and my co-founder getting pulled together on these shadow projects so we finally said you know we should just do this together um, we were part of Y Combinator about two years ago uh, and uh, that was an amazing amazing education and got us kind of focused on the social path and then uh, spent the last two years executing from there. Okay. And when did you guys get your first funding? So we raised funding in uh, May 2010, so about a, a, little, a little over uh, a year and a half ago. And, like a uh, Series A? Or? Uh, it was a, uh, well, I think some people call it a Series A, some people call it a seed. We're probably a small Series A or a big seed. Oh, yeah, round. preferred. Then, that's, right, preferred that's right, stock. that's right, that's right, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so we basically, uh, and then, you know, we've sort of just been uh, focusing on, on putting that to good use and, cool. and developing the right product. And you know Tim Connors, great guy. Absolutely. An investor in the company. Yeah. Um, Tim's an amazing guy, amazing product guy. Great product, he's very founder that. friendly, which uh, is, you know, my kind of VC. And... Mm -hmm. uh, He's a sports fan, which right. we love Absolutely. sports at Silicon Angle. We run reruns, and you know the funny story about Silicon Angle. I was running some high school football content on Silicon Angle TV, and didn't know it was on live, mm -hmm. and it was on the website. And people were like, "Hey, you got football highlights on there!" All of a sudden, the number the number of uniques doubled, <laughs> right. like right. high school football <laughs> on a tech blog. It's just all, and it was all the offensive plays that probably out to high school, and it's awesome, massive traffic. So we love sports, and we'll soon be launching Sports Angle. 
uh, a Very dedicated cool. sports thing. That's our next big thing. That's what I want to do. But I don't Excellent. know if we're going to have time. Well, Joe, thanks for coming <laughs> in. Uh, entrepreneur in San Francisco. Uh, as you can tell, San Francisco is a place where you know, everyone hangs loose. The startups are very collaborative, a lot of experimentation. The Node.js is a real trend. Uh, highly accelerating path to market and uh, time to value for the startups, and it's an exciting opportunity. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Well, thank you very uh, much for having me, John. Okay.